In this video, we're going to show you the standard preparation for our bridge model file. First, what you need is to have a 3D model. Okay, this seed file, you can use uh, the one that comes with the software or the one that the, your organization uses as a standard 3D seed file. So the next step is to bring the information in. So what information we need? We need uh, the geometry information. Again, the geometry could be live on the file, uh, but it's better, of course, since maybe you are not the owner of the alignment profile information is just uh, to reference that. I'm going to call it geometry. And this is the geometry that maybe the highway engineer has set up for you. This geometry may have, of course, the alignment profile information and even the super elevation information. So that geometry that you want to reference for your bridge. And also what you can bring is the ground information or the terrain. Because remember, later with Open Bridge Modeler, when you set up the peer elevations, the foundations, you can say, oh, I want my foundation three feet below the ground, five feet below the ground, and whatever the ground elevation is, uh, the software will adjust it. So this will be the initial preparation. Um, basically, you're ready to go. Now, here, for example, the terrain comes uh, with the contours because when they save the file it was like that and even though you have the tools here to modify the ground you cannot do it because it's not active so here in this instance I would say you can go here on the reference file dialog and say my terrain I just want to switch it go live to the terrain file and I don't want to display the contours because again it has too much clutter on the screen uh, I just need the information later I can activate it of course so I click and on the properties I just say I don't want the contours uh, of course I don't want the triangles right it's way too much clutter also uh, I just want the border Okay, so the information is still going to be read, but just for displaying purposes, I just want to save it like that. So then when I go back to my uh, live 3D file, right, I just have the terrain there ready to go. Oh, or I think when I came back is I forgot not only to change the display right but the save settings the display now when I go back to my file that's what I need so now I still have the ground information and then have here the information for the bridge. So I'm ready to go, I got my terrain, I got my alignments, so I can start designing my bridge.